Yo, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to break the game. That's right. We're going to take that baby, launch it into space, kick it into super mega ultra grab drive, slap it around for several light years, and then slam it into a distant star. At that point, it will be so dazed and confused, you'll be able to do anything you want with it. Translation, I'm going to show you how to construct a kick-ass XP money farm outpost. Two things. One. I sincerely hope you all stick with me after I show you this strategy because I suspect some of you might just bail on the old slackster after you find yourself just swimming in more skill points and money than you know what to do with. And two, some of you may have seen this XP money farms described elsewhere. More specifically, this is a special location on Bessel 3B and may have gotten frustrated to know in following someone else's vague instructions on how to find the damn place. Not so with Major Slack. I have developed a special patented procedure to drop you in on the exact location you need to be on Bessel 3B every single time without fail. I am not going to just plunk you in somewhere in the general area and say, hey, it's around here somewhere, best of luck to you, you'll find it, just keep looking, leaving you to scream obscenities at your monitor or TV screen for the next four hours while you wander aimlessly around on a hostile moonscape. No. I will take you there. Read my lips. I will take you there. Just think that old staple singer song. I'll take you there. No. Bessel 3B. I'll take you there. Let me take you I'll there. I'll take you there. Oh no, he's singing again. Uh, Bessel 3B. I'll take you there. Uh, slack. Let me take you I'll there. Take you there. Uh, best of three. Huh? What? what? What is the PB? You're singing again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. Okay. Bessel 3B. Stupid OP XP money farm. Let's do it. Let's break the game. Major Slack attack. Alright, let's break the game. I'm going to do all this to, in real time to live run the commentary so you see that I really did, um... You know, I can find it no problem. Find the location in Bessel, Bessel 3B, no problem. I did a few things off camera. I sold off and um, I'm here in the basement of the lodge. If you forget how to get here, go to Alpha Centauri. Click on Alpha Centauri. It'll zoom in. Click on the plan above this big star here, Jemison. Zoom in. And click on the lodge and that'll take you to the lodge once we're in the lodge you're gonna come in and simply go to the basement enter here go to the basement and we are here okay now the way this uh this money xp farm works is oh that's what fell okay there's something clatter behind me okay the way this works is basically we're going to use an industrial workbench just ignore that to craft metric tons of adaptive frames and iso centered magnets and um, that will one give you a lot of XP and two you can sell those for money that's the way it works now all we need is an unlimited supply of iron and aluminum and an unlimited supply of nickel and cobalt and it would be fantastic if we could get in a spot on some planet where iron, aluminum, nickel, and cobalt were all available within the confines of a single outpost. And that spot is on Bessel 3B. All right. Now, to prepare, you'll need some materials. I'm going to give you a list of materials to get here. You'll need 26 aluminum. I'm going to put a list right up on the screen here. You need 26 aluminum, 2 beryllium, 16 cobalt. Uh, 56 iron, 24 nickel, 8 tungsten, and 2 zero wire. Everything else we need to build the outpost, we're going to craft while we're there. Alright, so I personally need... Oh, and here, let me just show you how you can quickly check the resources on your ship. Just uh, bring up your data menu, go to the bottom left here, click on the front, the frontier of your ship, and click on this button right here, cargo hold. That allows you to see the resources in your car in your cargo hold in your ship, wherever you are. Okay? So you can scroll through that, see exactly what resources you have, and match it up against the list I just showed you to figure out what you need to buy in order to, to prepare for this um, this outpost. 
Okay, so let's go to our favorite place to do business, Voli. Zoom in. Go to this planet right here to the. <laughs> I was gonna call it southeast. Well, to the bottom right, and click on Neon Core. We've been there before, and we're gonna go to the Mining League and buy the minerals that we need. Okay, so I personally need 16 cobalt, 11 iron, and 14 nickel. Mining League is right over here. He always has a wide variety of minerals. Yeah, to purchase some. Certainly, my friend. Down to resources. I need 16 cobalt, and he doesn't have cobalt, so we'll have to wait. Um, I need 11 iron. And I need 14 nickel. He's got no cobalt, but his stock respawns in 24 hours. To stop by unlike some weapon chops that take 48 Dang. hours to respawn. So let's just go to this couch here. Wait. 24. And do it to it. I read somewhere online that any shop that needs to respawn, or rather takes 48 hours to respawn, you can get away with waiting 26 hours. What you do supposedly, I tried it, it didn't work. Um, what you do supposedly is wait two hours, then you wait 24 hours and apparently that will get the shop to respawn. That's for a shop that needs 48 hours to respawn. Didn't work, tried it, didn't work. So yeah, a word of warning, word of caution, if you're reading through the comments on my video, there is some misinformation floating around. I'm not always um, you know, available to nerf it or, you know, or contest it. Sometimes it just, you know, stays up there. So take it with a grain of salt. Thank you for all the comments, but take it with a grain of salt. You read something in the comment section. Do this, do that. Hey there. It works. It may not work. Hello, my friend. I'm excited to see how business, nothing would make me happy. Okay, I want to see some cobalt there. Let's see some cobalt. Add a boy. Okay, so I need 16 cobalt. Done and done. Farewell, my friend. And tell everyone we have plenty of mining supplies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, quiet. You were doing a walk through here. All right, so. Um, let me go to my ship first. Actually, there's something else I want to do as well. And you should do this too. Bring up your map. Go to, um, the system mode and then go to Galaxy. And we're going to, back to Alpha Centauri. Zoom in. Up here to Jemison. Swing the planet around. Hover over the lodge, go to Mast District. When we arrive at Bessel 3, there may be some hostiles there. It's completely random, so we want to be prepared for this. We're going to go buy some ship parts, just in case we have to gun down some, some whomever is there. Alright, so here at Mast, the Mast District, just turn around and go straight down to the subway. Go to the commercial district. All right. And you see a sign right there that says UC distribution. It says it's that way. It actually, it's over here. Okay. Take the sidewalk on the right, and it's that building right there. There you go, UC Distribution Center. Here we go. And they will show, sell you. They will show you some ship, ship parts. They will sell you some ship parts. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative act. Welcome to UC. I have been told. Also, if you. She always has about half a dozen for sale. Oh. Go down to aid, and there they are. She's got dislike all, dislike all. That's all you need. Okay? Right, right. Because we have some from before. Hopefully, you still have some. 
Alright, so back to our ship. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Really? No. Oh, just by a little bit. Dang it. Hmm. I don't need this. Oh, that'll do it right there. Welcome to UC Distribute. You mean Oops. besides provide? I clicked it's on the wrong one. Name. Never a dull moment. I know some people don't. Believe yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I hope we have. Yeah. Here, that'll work. You're always welcome back. Ta-ta, see you in the funny papers. Okay. Ship side. Whoops. Ship side. Get up. Access your cargo hold and let's go to the inventory and throw those resources in there All right, and I just want to double check resources I Need 26 aluminum check 2 beryllium check 16 cobalt check 56 iron Check 24 nickel. Check. 8 tungsten. Check. And 2 zero wire, which we picked up way back in the beginning, very beginning, and I got two more. Check. So that's a check around on all those. Let's go sleep. Oh, by the way, there is an activity that you can easily complete. Check out your ship's inventory to complete this, and there's also like, um, some kind of achievement of vault where you simply complete 30 activities, I believe. 30 activities or miscellaneous missions and you get an achievement. So this counts as one of those. Um, all you have to do is just approach your cargo hold like that. Don't go in and take out any single item in this mode right here. Like don't go in like this, but rather stand in front of it and you can like take out a single item like maybe neo neodymium see the what it says take right below there you use that button and that'll complete that objective all right that's all you have to do and we just throw it back in done and done let's go sleep 24 hours and it's gonna be a great time to save the game Definitely save the game because anything could happen when we get there, right? Let's do it to it. Um, what am I doing? Don't have to necessarily take off into space. We can just use the map. Map. Zoom it out, and you're gonna go up and to the left from Alpha Centauri and it's right here okay it's kind of like a double system bezel and piazzi click on it and click on bezel and jump all right please no pirates please no pirates please no pirates thank you thank you game okay and it's waiting for my XP to roll in give me my XP Atta boy, it's a good game. Hey, I am, that's right. Uh, this guy's friendly. Let's just listen to him. That's it. Okay.
Okay. Thanks for the warning about Altair. What's up with that? Sure. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and hoo <laughs> boy! Spacers all over the damn place there. Distress call, yammering nonstop. Something big's going down there, and all of us with no skin in the game? Yes, we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I right? Sure. <laughs> uh, might be I can help them out, maybe. Charlie 3, you are looking to pay it forward like big time. Big time. <laughs> I mean, I won't tell you you're crazy, but wow. Bye, Charlie 3. All right. You've been like the best Charlie 3 I've talked to all week. See you on the flip side there, Freestar Mule. Okay, that gave us a mission. Uh oh, looks like something's happening. Okay, let's get busy. Um, just want to zoom out here. Okay, there's Bessel 3. Just off to the right here is its moon, Bessel 3B. We click on that, it'll zoom in. And we won't be able to scan it, so what I suggest is just choose any of the pre-set locations on it. Those will be completely random and just um, set a course and travel. This will put us in orbit around Bessel 3B. And it's calm, that's good. Bring up your map. And now we can scan it. Definitely scan it. Okay, you can see that it has water, aluminum, nickel, iron, argon, cobalt, platinum, and neon. Everything we need. That is iron, or rather aluminum, nickel, iron, and cobalt. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so the rust colored parts is the iron. I want you to spin the planet around until you see these four iron blotches here. There's one there, two, three, and a little one over here, four. I want you to go to blotch number one. All right. Zoom it right in as much as you can. And you see these two bumps here, a couple of tits there. Pardon my French. Okay, go to the left side here and see this bend right here, that bend right here. I want you to plunk a landing spot right there. It doesn't have to be exact, just I want you on this longitude of the planet. All right, and land. Right. Get up. Okay, having landed at that exact spot, show resources. Right there. This is perfect. On this left edge or west edge of this iron blotch here. Having done that. I want to go to the bed. Access it. Check out the time. We want to sleep until 6.30 a.m. Local time. Okay, 6.30 a.m. local time. Actually, if you can't manage 6.30, 7 would be okay. Any, any time between 6.30 would be perfect. 7 is acceptable. 6 is a little too early. So it is, this is actually pretty good. It's 11.41, so if we sleep seven hours, that'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. Okay, 6.30 a.m. in the morning, that's what you want, local time. Why, Slack? I'll show you why. This is part of my perfect plan to locate. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's see the time. 6.54. Pretty good. Pretty good. A little late, but that's okay. Quick save. Having quick saved, bring up the map. Show resources. Spin it around. Zoom in on your location. 
because it is 6.30 in the morning, you're going to put this section of the map in high relief because this is the sunny side and this is the dark side. We're right at, this is basically dawn. And because we're at dawn, see this line, this nickel blotch here? And it's, it's kind of like pointing straight up. It's pointing straight up at this line here, which will be in high relief because we're at 6.30 in the morning. That's why it's important to wait till 6.30 in the morning. 7 will be fine. And what you're looking for is, see my targeting circle there? This is the spot you're looking for right there. Okay, a post-production slack, I want you to zoom in. And you see a little notch on this line. This is basically a mountain range, okay? This line going straight up and down. Okay, this line going up and down here like this is a mountain range. And right here, right inside the center of my targeting circle, you see a little notch sticking out to the right. That's exactly the spot that you're looking for, that little notch right there. All right, don't do anything yet. What you want to do is you want to put the bottom of your targeting circle right on that notch. Don't click on that notch, but rather move your targeting circle up so that the bottom of your targeting circle is right on top of that notch. And you want the mountain range going straight down the center of your targeting circle. Okay, right there. That's the perfect spot. Now click. That's your landing spot. All right, travel. Perfect. Having landed, see that dark peak in the distance? That's the exactly the spot you're looking for. If you if you didn't if you don't see that dark peak in the in the distance there, reload your quick save and try again. But I I can nail it every single time. If you follow my instructions, put the bottom of your targeting circle right on that little notch sticking out to the right, and make sure that your targeting circle is split half half over each side, just like my instructions. Okay, exit. Post a comment and let me know if you had any st any problems with these instructions because I can nail it every single time without fail. Okay, so let's just push off to the south west towards that dark peak. This is exactly what you're looking for. We nailed it. You're looking for this dark peak right here. All right. And follow this, the mountain down like that, down to the foot of the mountain right there. And on this side, you see all these strange rocky disc like structures. What we want to do is we want to get to a location right at the foot of the mountain, right where these rocky disc like structures begin and they go out onto the plane like that. We want to get right there. That's where we're going. Okay? Whee! <laughs> okay, so we keep, we keep pushing towards the foot of the mountain, foot of that mountain there right where the rocky disc, disc like structures begin. Okay, so we're here. There's the mountain. Come down to the foot of the mountain. The rocky disc-like structures are here. They begin. And you always see a corrosive gas vent right there. It's always there. Go towards that corrosive gas vent. You go just a little past it. Okay, just a little past it. Now I'm going to look off to this 
in this direction here. Basically away from the mountain. Press scan. Press outpost. And you see available resources up in the top left corner. We have nickel, iron, cobalt. All we're missing is aluminum. So we're going to push away from this mountain here. In this direction here, which would be... Basically... West northwest. Okay, there's north. Like, just see those mountains off and just just kind of in that direction here. Okay, press scan, press outpost, and boom, there we go. See, actually, right there you see is just before we get aluminum. If you push the outpost beacon a little further, you get aluminum. There we go. That's the spot right there. It's typically. Let me know if you get this triple disc like rock here okay I'm pretty sure this is it's always here this big one and then it goes down a step and then another step it's right here okay scan outpost there we go nickel iron aluminum and cobalt now what I like to do is um, we don't want to be building on the mountain we want to push away as as far from the mountain as possible so once you found the perfect spot which is typically beside this thing here. Let's push it down as far as we can without losing all four resources. Let's push a little further, a little further, a little further. Oh, we lost cobalt, so let's bring it back a bit. Bring it back right there. Yeah, that's the spot. There we go. Let me know if you had some problems finding that. Okay. All right. Let's get building. First thing we want to build is an industrial workbench. This is where you're going to land every time you come to this outpost. So you can land right here. So you want the industrial workbench fairly close by. So scan, outpost. And this will be crafting. So see in the top right corner, you see structures. I think it starts out as at extractors. So just press that button. I'm pressing X, whatever that button is for you, press that. To cycle through and we're looking for crafting there it is crafting industrial workbench and plunk one down by the way something you should do go to your settings go to controls this is something I just recently discovered scroll right on down to the bottom see here outpost fly clam <laughs> what did I say Outpost fly cam distant. Strike that. Right at the very bottom, outpost fly cam starting distance. You can set it like way down or maximize it. I would set it maximum at 125 so you're really high in the sky. And another one. Outpost item rotation speed. This I'd set to the minimum. This is at like right in the middle by default. I would set this really like way at the bottom at 1. All right, having done that. Okay, and we're gonna build a bed too. Um, scan. Furniture, bring it on down. Put a bed right beside the industrial workbench. Blunk, and we're good. Okay, make sure the, the workbench is operational. If you by any chance get this glitch that says something like can't use equipment um, obstruction something like that that's a glitch the way out of that glitch is to simply do a quick save and then completely exit the game exit the game shut down the game and then reload reload the game and reload your quick save and that will get you out of that glitch that's pretty ridiculous I've seen times where you know, I've come to my outpost and there is actually a big giant rock superimposed on top of my my industrial workbench and the workbench is still perfectly functional. Other times I come, there's nothing around it for yards and the game is complaining that, you know, there's some kind of obstruction. Okay, so that's how you get out of that. Um, next, let's go down to my build order. I got it all worked out here. Build order, Mr. Laptop, where's my build order? Here we go. 
Alright, first thing we're going to build is an aluminum extractor. Scan, outpost, press the outpost button. Look at the bottom of the screen, I'm pressing X for use something else. And press toggle view, see that? At the bottom of the screen, whatever the button that is for you. For me, it's V. Press toggle view. Thought you put you in fly cam mode. And... Sorry about that. We have to get... The extractor selected first, so let's go back to extractors. There we go. And we'll start with the aluminum extractor. Once you've selected aluminum extractor, go to toggle view. Way up. Something that took me a long time to figure out. On the PC version, the way you zoom in and out is to push your to zoom in, push your mouse forward. That's what I'm doing. And to zoom out, pull your mouse back. And you can even lift your mouse off the mouse pad, back it up a bit, and you know, zoom it in more. That's how you zoom in and out on the PC version. Alright, now we want to, what we have to do is place this aluminum extractor in a resource vein. And the resource vein for aluminum is right over here. See, right now we can't plunk it down. Here we can plunk it down. Okay, so it's just off to the left of the outpost beacon, right on the edge. See, this is, see the build ring? So let's just plunk it down. And we need power. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you see total power. We have no power whatsoever. And the power we need is five. So now we're going to have to build um, some power. Let's just build some wind turbines. They're the best, the easiest. You can build them anywhere. They don't have to be near this particular extractor. But I like to put wind turbines near the extractor so I can spot that particular extractor. Because sometimes you actually want to go up to the extractor. You're and it's hard to see from a distance so let's just plunk down one wind turbine and another wind turbine right here okay they don't have to be linked or anything just plunk it right down right there okay next um we need some containers um for this aluminum extractor to pile aluminum into so switch on over to storage and down to storage solid and as you can see we need adaptive frames no problem. We have lots of iron, we have lots of aluminum, but we need adaptive frames. So exit, go to your industrial workbench. Each container, we want to make four containers, and each container requires three adaptive frames. So we're just going to make just enough that we need. We're going to make 12 adaptive frames. 9, 10, 11, 12. Actually, I think I have two in the ship, so I'm going to make 10. Very good. Scan, outpost, select storage solid, not liquid, not gas, storage solid. Toggle view, slide on over to your aluminum extractor. And I'm pushing the mouse forward to zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and spin this guy around here. We're gonna string up four containers right here. I usually like to string them out sideways so I can see them clearly from the outpost beacon. One, two, three, four. Can I build missing resources? Oh, I'm missing aluminum. That's no problem. We have an aluminum extractor. Exit. Let's just simply wait an hour or, or sleep an hour. One hour. Done and done. Scan, outpost, toggle view, zoom in, attach, build, exit, okay, and we'll have to go there. You don't have to go there, but I just find it easier for the next step to actually go there. You could do it from the fly cam view. Okay, so there's our wind turbines, there's our extractor. Here's our containers. We have to connect the extractor to the containers and we have to connect each container to the next one. Alright. Scan. Outpost. Go to modify mode. Look on this at the bottom of the screen. For me, it's tab. 
modify mode, point yourself directly at the extractor and press create output link. For me it's mouse 2, that would be right mouse button. Press that, point at a container, this first container here, press create output link. Output link. Ignore that, I'm going to tell you what to do. Aim at this container, press create output link. Aim at this container, create output link. Aim at this container, press create output link. Aim at this container, create output link. Same thing, create output link, create output link. Exit, and you'll know you did it correctly if you look at the final container that, that you look that you hooked up and if there's aluminum in it then that means these are all correctly linked and when the extractor starts extracting it's gonna start filling up all these containers and what the uh, the little help file that popped up said is that the last container in a chain of containers is the first one to get filled up then that one then that one then that one and as you can see it's got like green dots on the green dashes that means it's almost full or it is full and you see the same thing this is starting to be filled up it's got two yellow dashes this one's got nothing and this one's got nothing very good all right next iron extractor oops wrong one <laughs> actually i do want to do this just being lazy i want to go back to the outpost if you're on the console version it takes you a long time to load like long load screens i would walk back to the outpost but my PC is pretty fast so okay so back here um, scan outpost back to build mode back to extractors now we're gonna create an iron extractor fly cam mode the iron resource vein is over on this side okay bring it over and make sure it's not like in the red you know it'll tell you when you can't place it let's put it right Oops. There. And it needs power. Hang on. There you go. Okay, so total power is 6, we need 10. So we have to build a couple more wind turbines. Back to build mode. Wind turbine. Plunk a couple down. And we don't want to like obstruct this here. I want to lay out a line of containers there. So let's put this wind turbine right here. There we go. Next storage solid once again we're short adaptive frames exit we need 12 adaptive frames we can only make nine because we only have nine iron that's no problem all we have to do is just sleep an hour let me point out something else here the reason why bezel 3 is pretty much the best place to do this is because of the ratio of local time to universal time. What happens is your extractors are hooked up to universal time. So every time we wait one hour, we're actually passing 57 hours universal time, 57 hours, 47 minutes. So simply passing one hour, we're just cranking out the resources. Okay access your industrial workbench and look at that we're just cranking out the resources so 12 adaptive frames do it to it exit what did I say 12 adaptive yeah that's right can storage solid so
zoom it in and I want to lay out a line of storage containers for them just like the other one one I want to put them like this no cooperate game come on game you know you want it boy. you know you want it you know you want it here yeah I want to put it that way okay no, 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 no. Over here. There we go. Done and done. Same dealio here. Scan, outpost, modify mode, point at the extractor, create output link, aim at the container, blink, done. Exit, should see some iron in here, it's a success. Next, back to the beacon. Next, we're going to create the nickel extractor. Nickel. Scan. Outpost. Build mode. Back to extractors. Down to nickel. Fly cam mode. The nickel is down to the bottom left. No, oh, wait. It's right here. You'll see it highlighted on the ground. Here, that's right. Cobalt is over here. Nickel is here. So here I want to put it as close to the, the beacon as possible. So it's like off the slope because it's it gets kind of clunky to try to build on the slope. So at the bottom of the slope as much as possible. And plunk that down. And we're short 3 power. So switch on over to power. Wind turbine. Only need to plunk down 1 this time. And switch it on over to storage. And once again, we need a batch of four containers. Adaptive frame. 12 adaptive frame. And for some reason, my arrow keys aren't working. Scan, outpost, build view, fly cam. Let's put them right here like this. Let's string them out to the left. One, nope. Come on over. Two, three, four. Atta boy. And those are right there. Let's hook them up. Scan, outpost, modify mode, point, and we'll connect it to this one. Click, and then we'll connect this one to this one, this one to this one, this one to this one. There we go. Exit. You should see some nickel in this guy right here. It's a success. And finally, cobalt. Scan, outpost, build mode. Back to extractors, cobalt, fly cam. This is down right here right on the edge. Just barely got it in. Come on now. There we go. And we need five more power. Switch over to wind turbine. Done. 
doesn't have to be anywhere near um, the extractor. It doesn't work like that with power. Let's plunk one down here. There we go. And storage. Same thing. Exit. Twelve adaptive frames. Thank you very much. Where's my extractor? Here, okay. Let's just string them out here. Beautiful. Any questions, don't hesitate hesitate to post the comment. Okay, so now we have to link it. Scan outpost modify mode. Point at the extractor. Create output link. Point at this container. Create output link. Point at this container. Create output link. Point at this container. Create output, output link. Exit. And you should start seeing cobalt in this one. There we go. That's our XP money farm. It's done. Back to the beacon. Now there's only one problem. As we are churning out massive metric tons of Adaptive frames and iso-centered magnets, we're going to get grossly overloaded. Okay. First of all, let's wait uh, 24 hours to like charge up all our extractors and the containers. Okay, smoke him if you got him. This could take a minute or two. I just get... Uh, post-production slack to speed this up. There you go. Check out the industrial workbench. Adaptive frames. As you can see, we've maxed out iron at 999, maxed out aluminum 999. Go down to isocentered magnets. We've almost maxed out nickel and cobalt always falls a little short. I do not know why that is, but that's pretty typical. Cobalt maxes out quote and quote at around 60, 645. If we waited a few a few more hours, we'd probably get some more in, but it doesn't matter. That's pretty typical. Um, so as we start cranking out tons of adaptive frames, which will earn us a lot of XP and tons of ISO standard magnets, we're very quickly going to become overloaded, even grossly overloaded. And we can't land our ship here because it's just an outpost. It's always going to automatically land our ship um, like a couple hundred yards away. And if you look at your container, see they're all lit up green. So they're all full. See? That's exactly what you want to see. What we want to do is you gotta get nailed by something in pretty bad weather. Wow, this certainly doesn't look like Kansas Toto. Okay, um, 
what we want to do is build over to miscellaneous I believe here we go miscellaneous this is what we want to build right here a landing pad with the ship builder you could build a, build a landing pad small but that will only cover ships that are 40 meters long um, and once you start getting bigger ships that won't do so definitely this one and for this we're going to need 18 adaptive frames okay so exit that's no problem Nineteen, eighteen, do it to it, exit. Scan, outpost, landing pad with shipbuilder, fly cam mode. Now, spin it around. You have to look carefully for your industrial workbench. What we want to do is you see that little notch on the landing pad? What you want to do is put that as close as possible to your industrial workbench. You can barely see it. Okay, I can see it now. So that you don't have to go far when you're grossly overloaded with adaptive frames and ISO-centered magnets. Okay, let's plunk it down here. Exit. There we go. Now what you could do is you could simply move these. Scan, um, outpost, modify mode, pick this up and move it over as close as you can to this, these stairs here, like right about here. That'd be perfect. Boom. And move your bed. Always move your bed right beside the industrial workbench. Boom. There you go. Let's see if we can use it. Yep, no problem. It's a done deal. Okay, now we want to bring our ship onto the landing pad. And great time to do a quick save. You would think that all you'd have to do is just go into space, or go into your map, and hover over the Bessel 3 outpost click on it and your ship will automatically go to the landing pad. No, it doesn't work like that. Um, I don't know if that's by design, but the game doesn't let you do that. So what you need to do is go to galaxy mode. And we're going to go back to Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri. Zoom in. We're just basically going to go home base. Jemison. Spin it on around and go to New Atlantis. Land. Now that we've done this, we're going to go back to our ship. Hello, Captain. <coughs> and I think I'm sick. I think my girl is sick. Yep. Okay, looking for the yellow guy. Do I have one? Here we go. All better. All right, what we want to do, first of all, is just sleep an hour. Recharge the well, where's the bonus? Go to the cockpit, actually. Quick save. Go to the cockpit. You want to go up into space, so take off. Don't fast travel. Take off. Go 
once you're in space over in New Atlantis, now fast travel to your Bezel 3 outpost. Bezel, hover over the moon, Bezel 3B, spin on around, find your outpost, click on it, land. That's how you get your ship to land on the landing pad. It's the only way I know. All other methods will fail. You have to go into space. Turn around, and there's our ship. See? Who loves you? Slack loves us, that's right. And don't you forget it. And it's a beautiful day at the outpost. It's a great day to start cranking out the XP. Let's do a quick save. Sleep an hour. Oh, here we go. Well, I'm glad this happened. I've got this glitch. This is a glitch. Watch, I'm trying to access my industrial workbench. You cannot use this. It is obstructed. You could try moving it, but it probably won't do any good. It's a glitch. Let's move it over. Still. Okay, here's how you get out of this. Quick save. And I'm going to have to exit the game. So I'm going to shut down the my game recorder and I'll be right back. Okay, so make sure you do a quick save. Even a hard save. And you're going to have to shut down the game altogether. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And we can now access the industrial workbench. That's how you get out of that glitch. Okay, so let's do a run. Click on adaptive frames. You can hover over, see this line here? To go very quickly, you could hover your arrow just above the line like that. So that you can max it out and then press confirm. And what you want to do is, see where my arrow is? You want to put it just below the 4 on 24. And that way you can go very quickly. And we just leveled up. We got level 8. Let's do some more. Are we just below the 24? And we leveled up again. Level 9 more yeah let's do some more okay so we ran out of iron let's go down to isocentered centered magnet just below the six and we're just short of leveling up again Let me just top it off. Wait a few hours. Let's say three hours. Four hours. There we go. Three levels, just like that. Level up again. <laughs> okay, and you could go on. There we go. Five skill points. Just like that. 
Who loves it? Slack loves us. That's right. Don't you forget it. Okay, so accessing your inventory, you can see you're grossly overloaded. Actually, this is nothing. I've taken it up to 15,000, 20,000 mass. Um, so here's what you're going to do. We don't have a power boost pack yet. So we're just going to have to go up the stairs. If you had a power boost pack, all you have to do is just stand here and just boost up to the top. But our basic boost pack is not going to do it. It's not enough. Okay. So we'll have to go up the stairs. And we're going to lose all our oxygen and max out the CO2. The one th and we because we maxed out our CO2, we lost health. But the one thing the game doesn't do is it won't kill you because you're overloaded. It stops. Pardon me, just short. See my health? Just short of killing me. So it allows you to be grossly overloaded. And we have to get to our ship. What are you doing here? Okay, we'll talk to you later. What do you want? Sure. I've got a minute. Huh, that's interesting. Um, right. Later. Let me just do a save here. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I'm going to continue. I'm going to reload that save and see what happens. I'm going to get onto the ship. As soon as we get onto the ship, even though we're grossly overloaded, we don't have to be behind the cockpit. We just simply have to be on the ship, and now we can fast travel anywhere. Guess I just slept. And you know where the best place to do business, right? Neon Core, that's right, Neon Core. So let's go down to Voli. And even though it's drawing a red line indicating that uh, it's out of jump range, we've already visited there. So go here, go to the bottom right, click on Voli Alpha, Neon Core, click on that, land. And we're going to go to the Trade Authority because he has 11,000 credits. To the Trade Authority. Hook up with him. Something. And he's being a bitch. Come on. Better not be a waste of my time. Been here, I thought you were. Scroll down to resources. Sell him this big batch of adaptive frames. Five thousand credits. Let's sell him this batch, and he he can't handle it all, so I have to back off a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. There we go. 10,000 credits. Just like that. Done here. Now, let's say you have way more adaptive frames and isocentered magnets to sell. All you have to do is go over here. Have a seat. Wait 48 hours for his inventory to recharge. And Bob's your uncle. You can go back and sell some more. And on top of that... Um... There are a lot of things you can do while grossly overloaded. And that's going to be the subject of the next video. You should never waste this opportunity. When you're grossly overloaded with all these um, adaptive frames and isocentered magnets, there are so many things, so many skills you can level up while grossly overloaded. And that's going to be the subject of the next video because this one, this one is almost an hour. Who loves you? Slack loves us. That's right. Don't you forget it. So there is your XP money farm. Now, everybody, please continue to watch the walkthrough. Because, you know, I know we've broken the game now. And you may be thinking, I don't need you anymore, Slack. I can make as many skill points and I can make as much money as I want now. Bye-bye. <laughs> now, go on. Hang in there. Give me a thumbs up at least, okay? And post a comment, stuff like that there. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to show you some great things you can do while grossly overloaded okay never waste an opportunity all right thanks for watching see you next time hey guys real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on youtube for a complete lowdown on the youtube video game walkthrough scene check out my patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly major slack to help keep real walkthroughs alive on youtube you can donate as little as one dollar that's one dollar that's all that's all it takes all right thanks a lot really appreciate it